guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today's video is gonna be my long awaited Christmas home tour video. I know so many of you guys have been requesting to see this video. You wanna see what I have going on in this house for decorating for Christmas time. Um, I know a lot of you guys get ideas from these types of videos, so I'm so happy to share this with you today. Now, today's video is also a collaboration with Mama Approved. Her channel is very similar to mine, and she's also doing a Christmas home tour. So definitely check out her video right after you check out mine. And if you are coming from her channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you guys. Definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I am so excited to get started to show you guys what I've done around here. So I'm not gonna wait any longer. Let's get started. I'm just gonna get started with the front foyer. I just have a giant poinsettia plant over here. I've got my Yankee Candle um, wax warmer. I got this quite a few years ago, so I'm not sure if they have this anymore, but it's very cute. It's got, um, like a little Santa, I'll show you guys, it's got a little Santa with a little boy in front of the fireplace. So it looks really cute when you light the candle. There's a little fire burning in there, so I really like that. So I have that, and then just a Bath & Body Works candle. This picture actually came from a local greenhouse, and it is um, battery operated, so you put batteries in the back. And then at nighttime when you shut all the lights off, this part glows. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is, um, it's very pretty. My little guy actually loves Christmas, so he got this last time he was there. And then this little golden Christmas tree, so that's all I have at the front door. So I'm just gonna move on to the next room. All right, so over here I just have a mistletoe crystal. I think they're called kissing crystals. Um, it's very pretty. I just kind of leave it here through our mudroom door, so if anybody walks through, I guess they're getting smooched. <laughs> Alrighty, so in my bathroom here, this is the powder room on the main floor. Um, I really didn't do too much. I just got these wall decals. They're snowflakes. These are from Hobby Lobby, and I think they're really pretty in here. I have a lot of white and blue and silver in this room. That's kind of the theme, so I, I really like the silver snowflakes. I think they're really cute. All right, so if you guys seen my Christmas decorating video, then you've probably seen most of the decor in here. The only thing I did change up is I added garland with our stockings on the fireplace there. I put a little basket by the fire with um, a furry blankie. Uh, what else did I change up? I added a little bit more, more decorations to the tree because last time we had just done kind of the basics. So I added some more of that. And our tree topper, I don't know if any of you guys remember from my um, decorating video, but I had like a wooden tree topper. We could not get that thing to stay on there, so <laughs> we just, um, decided to put a bow on there for now until we can figure out a contraption or something just like to get it to stay there I don't know maybe we'll figure it out one day but uh, for now that's just gonna have to do so um, yeah so that's our Christmas living room um, our king of Christmas Christmas tree I know that um, I wanted one of those trees for many years and I finally got one so um, I'm super pumped about it it's an awesome Christmas tree Definitely check out my Christmas decorating video. I'll link it up above here if you guys wanna see that video where I show you guys how I set up the tree. So this is our living room. Um, I did add some garland since the last time I did my Christmas decorating video. Um, I do want to still put monogram letters on these stockings. So I do have an idea from Pinterest, so I think I'm gonna try to do that. Maybe I'll do a video about it if I turn out, um, or if they turn out. And let's see, what else we got? So this is just um, fake garland that I picked up at Walmart. And then I strung it with some clear lights, put on some decorations, um, and then I just put my lettering back up here, and then that is it for my garland, nothing too crazy fancy so our piano we haven't really changed anything since I did the decorating video um, it's all basically still the same I've got my joy sign for Hobby Lobby I didn't end up hanging it I just kind of left it sitting on the piano still don't know if we're gonna hang it or not but I think it looks great there so that's fine um, and then my beloved snowflake, I haven't found a spot to hang it. It's a it's a hanging one, but I haven't found a spot to hang it. So I'm just gonna leave it sitting on the piano. I like it there anyhow, so um, I don't think I have to move it anywhere else. I think it can just stay right there. Charlotte, are you checking out the garden, Missy? Yeah. 
and she likes that spot, it's nice and furry for her. All right guys, so for my kitchen, I've just got my little crystal Christmas trees on my kitchen table, it's just really simple. Nothing too fancy on there right now. Um, and then I'll take you over to the kitchen to see what I've done in there. Alrighty guys, so in my kitchen, my favorite thing would be this wreath. Um, I came up with this idea a few years ago. I think I saw it on Pinterest and then I just went out and picked up some garland, some ribbons and some um, silver ornaments and just away I went and it turned out great. Everybody loves it. It's, um, it's something that I'll definitely do year after year. Um, and then for the centerpiece here, this is just really simple. I just put a couple of Christmas ornaments onto the cake stand around the candles. Nothing really too fancy there. That one was just a simple idea that I threw together. Anyhow, I got um, the tea towels over there on my oven are from the Target dollar spot. It's just the Santa one with some plaid. I've also got my hot cocoa station over there. It's kind of in the works, but it's mainly all the stuff is there. I just want to do a little bit of sprucing out, maybe get some candy canes and get some sprinkles and whatnot. But um, I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Okay guys, so this is my hot cocoa station. It's really nothing special right now because I am planning on doing a little bit more to it, getting a couple little shaker bottles and putting some um, additives for my hot cocoa here. But this is just the beginnings of it, but it still looks really cute. Um, I've got my little snowman guys here, my little hot chocolate bar, this little pail is from Hobby Lobby. Um, right now I just have some Hershey's Hot Cocoa Kisses in here. I've got my tea, some apple cider. Um, so it's not really filled with the stuff that you need for hot cocoa, but it's the beginnings of it anyways. Um, and then in this drawer actually I have all my teas and coffees and whatnot. I guess you can't really see. I'll show you guys here. There we go. Um, yeah, I've got all my teas and coffees and whatnot in this drawer. So um, it's a nice little station for finding something cozy to drink. I'll move along to the next room now. All right, so in my front foyer, you can see we put some garland up along the banister up there. It looks really nice when you first come in, especially at nighttime when you turn the lights off. I'll turn the lights off here, maybe you can see. There you can see it's got a little bit of a glow. It looks really pretty. The lights are on upstairs still, but once I shut those off, it looks really nice at nighttime. I like to leave those on. Now I'm gonna head upstairs and show you guys what we have up there. All right, so here's the garland at the top of our stairs. I got this a few years ago. I'm pretty sure it was at Walmart. All right, so in the kids' bathroom, um, I, I didn't do too much in here. I just have my little crystal snowman guys. I definitely still have Halloween soap here, but I don't wanna waste because it is basically totally full. So we're just gonna use that until it's empty. And then I just have this little evergreen tree just for a little Christmas greenery. I might add some decorations if I find some minis. But that is it for the bathroom. All right, so where are we gonna move to? Uh, the boys' rooms, we didn't really decorate too much this year. So, um, I don't know, let's go room by room. Let's check out what's going on over here. Okay, so in Pacey's room, there's really not that much going on. The only thing he did do was he got this adorable <laughs> little penguin rug from the dollar store. So um, that's all that we have going on in here for Christmas decorations. Um, actually in Cohen's room, we're gonna do um, a Christmas tree in there, like a fake Christmas tree, but um, I haven't gotten around to do that yet. So maybe I'll share that on my Insta stories once it is done. So here you can see, there's our front foyer. And here is all the garland. And now we're gonna head into my room. All right, so I just love my bedroom at Christmas time, you guys. It looks so cozy. I've got the garland over the headboard over here. So I just have the garland going down basically all the way to the ground, which is really nice. It gives a really nice glow. And then it goes all the way to the other side. And then I do like to put the Christmas tree in front of the window, kind of like a tree in the forest. It's just, there's something about the natural tree with just the lights on it that I really like. So I just wanted to leave it like that. 
And then over here on my dresser, I've got the snow babies. These are so adorable and it looks so beautiful in my room. So what I did here was I just put some, oops, I knocked one over. I just put some lights underneath and then some, I don't know what you would call this stuff, like this batting maybe. So I just put this batting on top and then just some fake snow. I just kind of threw some on there and then I placed the snow babies so that they would look really pretty. And then I just have a little tree there too. So I'll just turn the lights on so you guys can see what it actually looks like in here with the lights on. So yeah, and then my sheets actually, um, my sheets, I got these from Target last year. So I usually get a new set every year. These are the flannel ones, um, but I didn't get them this year, so these are last year's sheets, but that's okay because they are still in great condition. And then I have this throw here. It is kind of like a cottagey, I guess a cottagey feel to it, but I just really like it. It's so cute. I got this when we moved into our first house, so this we've had for quite a while. And that would be it for our bedroom. Actually, I do also have my snowflake pillow on my bed, but my snowflake pillow, I have to cover the bottom because our dog bit off the crystals on the bottom part of the snowflake. And I got that at Pier 1 like two years ago, so that was a bummer because that pillow was like 40 something dollars. So I wasn't too happy when he did that but I try to um, still keep it on there by hiding the bottom. Oh well, it's all good. Okay, so my bathroom, you guys, I didn't really do much in here. Not much at all. I just have a Christmas candle, so um, I actually got a whole bunch of new um, like makeup trays and whatnot sent to me from Rovanza, I, I believe. I, I'm not quite sure how you say it, but I will be doing a video on um, organizing makeup because I have a whole bunch of new containers from them. I even have another, I think one or two in my closet. So um, yeah, that's it for the bathroom. Nothing too much going on in here. One of these days, you guys, I will show you that closet. <laughs> this is our closet, like the master closet. Maybe I'll just give you guys a peek right now. Give you guys a sneak peek. It's totally messy but this is my closet. Um, I don't even know how we have that many clothes. Okay, that pile back there, you guys, the pile that is on top of that blue bin is actually Christmas presents hidden, so it isn't that much junk. It looks like it's junk, but it's actually Christmas presents. And we just got back from a trip um, last week, so that's why there's a suitcase with clothes all over the place. Don't make fun of me for that room, <laughs> for that closet, because it is really messy. But anyhow, um, yeah, so that is it for up here. Um, I think that's it, you guys. That is basically my Christmas home tour. Maybe I'll just head downstairs and yeah. All right, guys, so I've basically shown you all of the holiday decor in my house. I hope you guys got some great ideas. Don't forget to go down below in my comments and let me know what was your favorite home decor item or your favorite idea that you saw in this decorating video. And also, do not forget to go check out Mama Approves home decor video next. She also did a holiday home tour and it is an awesome video and I'm sure you guys will get some fantastic ideas. I especially love her hot cocoa station. You guys, her hot cocoa station is so awesome. I definitely got some great ideas from her so do not forget to go check out her channel as well. I'll have her video linked down below in the description box for you guys so you just head on down there and click that link and then head to her channel. Alrighty, so I'm just going to end off this video with a little bit of a recap room by room of what I did for the home decor this year. I hope you guys really loved this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. 
if you guys click that little notification bell you guys will get notified when I post new videos and that way you guys won't miss out anyhow I really hope you guys have an awesome time decorating your houses this year it is one of my favorite things to do again thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time in the next video bye